Do you want to come to the market with me? I have to buy some vegetables. Market? That will be lots of fun. Let us go, Grandma. Hello, Sita. Why are you sad? Hello, Grandma. I have to sell these eggs, but I don't know how many eggs I have. Sita, Auntie, we can help you. Come, Chinu. Let us count the eggs. Okay. There are ten eggs in each of these. Let us count them now. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, and hundred. See, Tanti, you have hundred eggs with you. Thank you, children. Now I am happy. I know I have hundred eggs. Sita, you should also learn to read and write. Yes, Grandma. I feel so bad that I cannot read, write, or count. Why don't you join the evening classes at the village? But grandma I have lots of work Sita everyone has work it is only for one hour you should join the classes today itself Okay grandma I'll join the classes today itself Next time I'll count the eggs myself Thank you children Auntie, Chino, it is so easy if we count in tens. Yes, Buzz, it helps to count fast. What is he doing? He is counting his sticks. He is making. Bundles of ten. Come, let us help him. Let us help him make bundles of ten. Let us tie up the bundles with this rope. Now, let us count the sticks. There are seven bundles of sticks. There are ten sticks. In each bundle, so there are ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, seventy-six. Look, there are six more sticks left. There are seventy sticks in these bundles. Six more sticks are here. So there are seventy plus six sticks. That is seventy-six sticks. Uncle, you have seventy-six sticks. Hey, it is fun to count like this in tens. Okay, I will tell you what happened to Uncle Ramu. A story, Grandma? That will be fun. Not a story, Buzz. Just listen. Ramu had many ducks. He did not know how to count his ducks. There was a cunning fox in the village. The fox knew that Ramu could not count. The fox knew that if he ate the duck, Ramu would not know. So, the fox ate one duck every day. 
Ramu felt that some ducks were missing, but he did not know how to count. He was very sad, so I went to help him. I counted Ramu's ducks. I put the ducks in groups of ten. He had ten, twenty, thirty ducks and five more were left. I know! Thirty plus five is equal to thirty-five. So he had thirty-five ducks. That's right, Chinu. Ramu had thirty-five ducks. The next day, I went and counted his ducks again. He had ten, twenty, thirty and only four ducks left. Oh, Grandma, one duck was missing. The cunning fox ate it. Yes. Ramu now got to know that his ducks were really missing. What did he do, Grandma? That night, he hid behind a tree near his house. The cunning fox came quietly to eat a duck. Ramu had a stick in his hand. He drove the fox away. The fox got scared and ran away. Did the fox come again, Grandma? Fox never came back again. Oh, what a naughty, cunning fox, Grandma. It is so much fun to count in ten. Look at what I have. I have got a bottle full of seeds. Let us play a game now. A game? That will be fun. This is for you, Minu. Bas, this is for you. This is for me. Let us start counting. In ten. I am going to make groups of ten seeds. Friends, it's fun to count in tens. You can also count seeds, flowers, notebooks or chickens in groups of tens. I have to count my seeds now. Friends, there are ten things in each group. Shall we count in tens and match the following? Sixty-five sticks. Forty-four pencils. Seventy three flowers, fifty 
56 beads. Sixty five sticks, forty four pencils, seventy three flowers. Fifty six beads, shall we count in tens now? Fifty eight chicks. Seventy seven eggs, eighty three laddus, forty seven books. Ninety one fruits, thirty two balls, eighteen caps. Sixty four flowers, 